local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. Her name is LaShundra Denise Nathan, but Fort Wayne sports fans probably know her best simply as Dee Dee. They also know her as an Olympian, as the Southside grad competing in the 2000 Olympic Games in the heptathlon. In this week's Throwback Thursday, we get back to the track with a former archer who many believe is the best female athlete to ever come out of the Summit City. I was the only little girl um, my age in my neighborhood. And I just, I had seven step uncles. I played basketball with them. I played touch football with them. We ran up and down the street barefoot. You know, we didn't have organized sports for, for girls like that. So we played with the boys. You know, you, you have to keep up with them. They won't let you play if you can't keep up. Keeping up, that was never a problem for Dee Dee Nathan. After helping lead the Archers track team to state titles in 1985 and 86, she headed down to Bloomington to run for Indiana University. No one had ever gone to college in my family to the point I was first generation. I went on a team with Olympians. So my team had Olympians on it with distance runners and people that went to Olympic trials. So you go into that culture and it was you either rise to this level or you get left behind. And I just wasn't being, I wasn't gonna be left behind. I, I, I just, I was very competitive and I was like, hey, you're not gonna leave me behind. Dee Dee began leaving the competition behind when she took up the heptathlon her senior year. She'd finished second at the 1990 College Nationals and won gold at the 91 Pan Am Games in Cuba with the 92 Olympic trials up next. I went to 92 and not even knowing what I was doing for the most part, still kind of uh, just green, green with the sport, because it, it, there's a lot to that. Um, and missed the team by 1.5 seconds. So I get to the 96 trials, and long story super short, miss it again by 1.5 seconds, the exact same way. And I was like, okay. Well, you know, Dee Nathan has been around for years, but she's never really been able to put together the type of heptathlon that she has started out with today. The 2000 was it. I was 32, and I was like, if I don't make this team, this is it. And uh, fortunately, it worked out that I made the team. This has been a long, long journey for me. I'm 32 years old. It's not like I'm a 19-year-old or fresh out of college and, and never been anywhere. I've, I've been around the world and uh, with track, and so it's not, I expected to go to the Olympics. It's not a surprise. I go in with a peace of mind about that, and I know that Whatever I do will be the best of my ability at that time, and I can't do any more than that. After finishing first at the U.S. Olympic trials, Dee Dee battled an Achilles injury in Australia and came in ninth at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney. I, I was really calm going into the hurdles and um, ended up running like the first time of the year, and I'm like, okay, Lord, this is not real. So right after a battle here, you have to leave like each event in its place. But after the hurdles, I was like, okay, that's over. I can do anything about that. Let me go high jump and try to make up some points. I am so very proud of her. It makes me feel real good to know that I did do a good job in raising her. She turned out to be a very young, prosperous young lady. Something just came real strong in my spirit and said, you are a champion. You've already accomplished your goal. You're a champion. Everything great that I've ever done came about by me being willing to try. And that's what I tell kids, just try. You have no idea where this is gonna take you, try. Since stepping away from competitive track, Nathan's spending almost 15 years as an administrator, teacher, and coach in the Indianapolis area, and she recently moved to North Carolina. I'm sports director Glenn Marini, and that is your local sports report.